Hey friends, Donovan here with FretSpot.com, of course. Uh, I've got something to show you today. I'm picking up a few accessories here and there, basically just really high quality items that I personally use or like. Um, and as uh, if any of you guys uh, have been watching my videos at all or know me at all, you know that uh, I tend to like pretty, pretty much top-notch gear only. Uh, not because like I'm so sophisticated that my playing is so developed and I'm so talented that only the best will do for me, but I just like to have it. <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, being in the music business and this being what I do, uh, it's an affordable luxury for me. I guess we'll put it that way. So uh, you know, if I can't be a great, at least my gear can be, right? So uh, anyway, but one of the things I want to show you today is is a new gig bag that I, um, I'm using and. Um, selling and it's from a company called Harvest Gig Bags and some of you may be familiar with these but some of you may not uh, but these things are ridiculous this particular bag um, is made from uh, cow marble or it's called their cow marble and um, the finish treatment and basically it's 100% full grain leather I mean dude smells like you're standing next to a freshly washed cow um, <laughs> but it's been like hand antiqued and I'm hoping my camera picks this up but you get like a really nice kind of like uh, marbling texture to it which is hence the name cow marble and they do um, an antique uh, antiquing process to the to the brass here and uh, to give it kind of like a, a worn used sort of vintage look and um, man it's their hand stitch, handmade, uh, really beefy zippers. I mean, you're never going to rip these zippers and break them out. Uh, brass fittings on the back. And these are actually pretty cool. Like, they're not rivets. They're actual, oh, dang it. Can't see that. They're not rivets. They're actual, like, brass snap buttons. And they snap on there really securely. Um, leather shoulder pad there as well. Um, just ridiculously high quality um, also comes with like a full uh, strap there if you want to have it uh, here so that the base hangs lower on your back instead of being you know being up over the top which is really slick um, a really generous front pocket that's big enough to fit uh, music or even some of the new micro heads and stuff that are out there and then a nice size pocket up here for whatever cell phone extra um, tools or whatever and then the inside um, let me show you this it's pretty nice the inside um, is really really plush it's almost like velvet on the inside and then we've got leather and the spots where your uh, where the base you know the strings and stuff would contact there where the bridge and up at the top uh, but like I said it's hand stitched and just exceedingly well made um, and the nice thing too is if you need total access to it, it'll unzip all the way to, to there. So, I mean, look at that. That's just it's just crazy. So, is it a bit overmade and overdone? Yeah, yeah. You probably don't need anything quite this heavy duty. But you know what? It's cool as hell. So, <laughs> uh, and it looks great, and they're comfortable. And like I said, it smells like like nothing else. I've you know before this I use. Uh, Oh, I've got one of those in-case uh, slim bags I use, and uh, of course I use uh, George's bags and stuff like that. And those are all nice, and they do a great job of protection and stuff like that. But dude, they don't smell as good. You don't strap on an F-Base bag or an in-case bag or uh, uh, any of the, the, the nicer bags and, and smell it, you know? I mean, this smells good. So, anyway... Sexy as hell, cool thing. Not particularly cheap. They're you know about 400 bucks just for the case, but for the bag. But it's cool, and I think with the quality, it'll probably last you forever. So there's something to be said for that as well. Anyway, comes in several different finishes. There's like a um, uh, one made from water buffalo. Seriously, I mean you can have a gig bag made from water buffalo. What more could you possibly want? There's like a brown leather. There's sort of like a I think like a crocodile uh, style. A bunch of different uh, uh, flavors there, but uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, Harvest Leather Bass Bags. They make guitar bags, stuff like that too. Who cares about that stuff? Bass is where it's at. You guys are feeling me. So there you go. If you want one of these, give me a shout. Thanks for watching.